Hey friends! Today I'm here to show you something pretty cool in my new journaling life. And it's this very interesting ring-bound system organizer called Plotter. So actually I received this as a Christmas gift from a friend. And this is a brand that has existed in Japan and you may know him. Um, better as a sister brand to this more well-known system called the Traverse Company. So the Traverse Notebook is under Design Fill and one of their other product is called the Plotter. So here you can see the brand P-L-O-T-T-E-R and it's the slick leather bound system organizer or ring planner, ring notebook, ring system that comes in A5 size, and I think there's the remaining are all the smaller sizes, like the narrow, the Bible, the pocket, but the emphasis is again on the beautiful luscious leather. And then it also has a really cool mission where it says, Potter is a planner, an organizer, the strategist. It's a tool to make drawings and design. It's a tool that helps you develop methodology for thinking and it's a tool for those who changes the context and it's a tool for change makers so that's all kind of engraved on the inside hair so it's a really cool system and i just want to talk about it today and share with you guys how i've been liking it and it came in this beautiful orange box with this very cool design and i stuffed a lot of the inserts item in here already so what is a plotter? It's essentially a ring system, but as you can see, the rings are really, really small. So actually, I've been a hater of rings because I hate that it gets in the way of my hands. But because the ring here is so tiny, I actually have no problem writing, even on the left side. Um, and I like how it's not like other ring systems where it bulks up super fast, super easily. And then you always have to end up, you know, taking out loose leaves and writing them on like flat surfaces. Like I can immediately write on this. But this is not a planner actually because my friend, she kind of knew that I am like a creative person and she decided that you know instead of getting me the dated inserts she's gonna get me a lot of inserts that are more for um, writing notes brainstorming and all that stuff so um, one of the inserts I got is the four millimeter dot grid and it comes in this beautiful kind of rose gold gilded book but as you if you open it it's all um, dot grid paper that you can actually rip off and remove and use in the insert. You can also just put the whole book in, but I don't like how it bulks up the system because I feel like it's meant to lay flat and portable. You know, like if you go to meetings or little occasions or up and down the stairs, I don't want it to bulk up too much. And so I like the little slim profile I have going on here. The next system is the to-do list. So it's also a refill memo pad. And by the way, I like how just like the Traveler's Company, they noted like the numbering of different kinds of refills. Um, if you didn't notice that with the Traveler's Company system, but this is a to-do list uh, memo pad. And what it looks like is you get these vertical lines, but you can also make progress um, charts over here on the right side based on the degree of completion. So for example, my initial page, I've set up a few to be my to-do list, and they are just random brainstorms, and then some things for Cookie, um, my puppy, and then here is where the degree of completion comes in, but I'm just using it as a random checklist now. So I have this only a few pages, one of the main refills, I think, is kind of like their really special insert. is called the Project Manager. And it comes in a set of six different colors assortments. Essentially what this is, is this foldable paper insert 
where you can put in loose leaves and have it be organized into like a little pack <laughs> of projects or little thoughts or different, um, I guess, different themes and categories. And as you can see, you can put an entire insert in or you can put loose leaves in it. And what I like about it is that the paper itself is a giant chart for managing things. You can list down tasks, to-dos, checklists, progress. Here in the front, you can write about project name, notes, the members that are involved, and at the back is the memo to-do list style where you have the main missions and the degree of completion. So it's a set of many colors, and I actually started using two already. Right here, I have one for podcast notes and sketch notes because I've been listening to a few podcasts. And then here, I'm using the four millimeter dot grid as like note taking. And so here's like the rest of the thing. As you can see, this one's a loose leaf, but this, um, the rest of it, I kind of took it off that book. So it's still bound together. So it actually acts just like a notebook inside the system, which I thought was pretty cool. So the next thing that comes with this um, this series of accessories is this cool lifter. It's essentially a plastic divider, but it, in it attached this very cool leather pen loop, just like the system I've shared over at the Stationery Cafe episode 41 with Patrick, I believe. Um, or was it 42? I think it's 41. He actually made a divider of his own inside the Traveler's Notebook system with a longer pen loop so the pen actually doesn't move around. I really like that and I use it to divide you know, my first project versus my other projects. So here, right after this divider, I have these random note pages that I am just gonna use as random sketch notes, ideas, and like for example, this was my first impression and how I plan to set it up and then, you know, after researching what kind of thoughts I had for this. And then back here is the final project manager I have, project organizer I have saved here. And I did a little pen test in here just to kind of see how this paper holds up because this dot grid is empty paper from, this notebook it it did say that it uses empty paper however it also comes with another um, book of inserts my friend gave it to me as the plain refill memo pad and I'm not sure if it's empty paper but you know think thinking about it coming from the same company as MD as Travers company I assume the paper is good so I did some pen tests with my favorite on the go pens, um, some fountain pens, some brush pens, some regular gel, brush markers, and here's the back side. Wow. No bleed through at all and very minimal ghosting, surprisingly. So this is kind of like my random notes um, section that I still haven't really um, decided what I want to use for, but this is my um, impressions, quick quick notes that I can, you know, decide to put into this one or into this one later. And then here's my initial memo note. So this has become my like daily organizer for things um, around the house, chores everywhere, and all that other stuff. So another cool item I didn't really talk about initially, um, but that came with this book and I think is really special, especially for people who are using ring systems and, you know, has a leather cover. So the thing with ring system is that the rings are metal and everything else is not, right? So it actually came with a ring supporter. You can buy it individually. It's 013. And it's this thing that, let me show you guys. Let me remove all the pages. So it's a piece of leather that you kind of just kind of put over these rings 
and they're going to prevent indents that the ring will potentially make on the actual leather cover. So you know how like when you hold it like this and press down, there's going to be indents that kind of occur on the surface. But it's not. It's not going to happen because I have this really cool um, ring supporter over here. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. And when I first opened this, it has this like luscious smell of Italian leather. So that was enough to make me uh, geek out. <laughs> Let me just kind of put everything back in. I've been attending a lot of online conferences this year. So that has really come in helpful to have a space dedicated to watching all those videos and the notes I took for me. In here. So the last cool thing, um, well actually not last, one other thing that they have is this beautiful brass pen. Just like Traveler's Company has its own individual brass pen, Potter has his own brass ballpoint pen. And it's the kind where you twist, oops, and the nib comes out. It's really elegant. It sits beautifully in the pen holder. Actually gives it some heft, this entire book. And I know it actually comes with other kind of straps to keep the book closed, but I'm not at that point where I really have to worry about that yet. The only thing is, this is like a typical ballpoint, like a Parker style ballpoint. And I kind of prefer gel. So I actually ordered on Amazon um, some gel pen refills for this style of brass pen because this is written with gel and if you don't wait for it to dry it actually smudges a little bit. So the plotter system is really designed for like the functional thinkers, designers, architects, or any kind of creative lifestyle but professional usage. So this is another cool item that is included. It, they, they have these larger pads that are designed for the A5 size. They're called refill memo pads. And this one particularly is in the style isometric. So instead of dark grid plane, it actually has these um, cool, I guess, slanted parallel lines. And immediately I thought, oh my God, perfect for urban sketching and perspective drawing. And the cool thing about this thing is like, how does it fit into an A5 size um, link system, right? So here's how to use. You can actually fold it this way, um, you know, into thirds. So you retain the entire page in the A5 form, or you can fold it on the exterior side, the outside three, one third, so you can have it on top, but basically you can utilize the entire page and fold it to match the size. So let's demo that. <laughs> this is my first time trying it too, so I'm kind of excited. So they also give you the guides on where to fold, so that helps. That's definitely very helpful. Um, I can fold this way and this way. I can fold this way and this way. I'm gonna to try to do that. Now you can have expandable piece of A4 paper inside the organizer. Again, what great design. Wow. I feel like I didn't fold it well enough. <laughs> Maybe I should have folded it over here is what I should have done. There we go. Now this thing doesn't poke out. 
What a cool system. I'm really excited because just like how much I love using the Traveler's Notebook for casual and like leisure and travel and all that kind of things. Like for example, I use it to log daily life adventures and sketching. This is going to become a great companion as an everyday notebook. Think of it as commonplace for my more professional lifestyle. Um, the things I learn from marketing, conferences, you know, watching videos, listening to podcasts, and you know, have a daily to-do here that I can remind myself of. So I love this brand. I don't think it's available for sale in the US yet, but you can definitely get it from Japan because it's a Japanese brand and they actually have way more variety of covers available colors styles and stuff and i just love this thin profile so i guess three things i love about this one it breaks my stereotype of a ring binder being very i guess tedious and kind of always in the way this one does not give me that trouble at all Two, I love the aesthetics of everything, the insert, the way they, you know, design items to fit the needs of wanting to take care of a good ring system. The slim profile that, you know, I don't see anywhere else with other like vinyl facts or other kind of planners because they usually have a bigger, you know, bigger bottom, I would guess, bigger spine. And last, the design of the different organizers, especially this one. Like sometimes you, I just don't like having too many loose sheets kind of everywhere. And this actually allows me to stay organized based on project forms and then also have this flexibility of putting in bigger pieces of paper in here. Plus real paper. So that's that's my impression of the plotter brand. Comes with this really cool orange box, which I'm currently storing all my inserts in really nicely. I think there's a lot of other cool items in this brand of lineup too when I went to their website. So Maybe I'll try to get some myself on Amazon Japan. And I can't wait to see how this leather ages with my daily use as well. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching.